guys, welcome back to Goodbye Greens. Uh, today we are using the slow cooker again and we are making ribs. Um, now, ribs are probably not something most people would think of using the slow cooker for. Um, I kind of tried this out um, sort of on a whim. I wanted to make ribs one night and you know, I was going to be home from work late and there's just no way I was going to be eating dinner at 10 o'clock at night or something um, from putting in, them in the oven when I got home. So. I kind of prepped these like the night before, made the whole dry rub, um, and then kind of just let them sit in the fridge um, overnight, popped them on the slow cooker in the morning, and they were awesome. And this is probably the new way that I'm gonna make ribs just because they are so easy. So let's take a look at the ingredients. So we have about three and a half to four pounds of pork baby back ribs. And then we have for, this is kind of like our dry rub seasoning mix. We have some kosher salt in here. And then in this container, we have some cumin, some chili powder, and a little bit of white pepper. And then in here, we have some smoked paprika, just a touch of cinnamon, and a little bit of granulated garlic. So what we're going to do is put all of the uh, different spices in with the salt, mix that together, and prep our ribs. Okay, so I grabbed our slow cooker, and we can add all of our different spices. Make sure you get all of them out of there. We can add these all in with the salt. And then we're gonna mix this together. You just really wanna just more, mostly break it up so that it's evenly combined. And then this step I usually do, you certainly don't have to do it. Um, it's not gonna hurt you or anything like that. Um, a lot of people just don't like the taste of it. You can see this like silver, I think they call it silver skin that's on the underneath side of the ribs. Um, you probably can't see it until I start taking it off, but you can use a, um, just like a regular butter knife and just kind of wedge it underneath the ribs until you kind of get the whole piece loosened and then you can kind of rip the whole thing off. And it takes a little bit of time and you kind of have to see where you can stick your knife so that you don't hurt yourself. Um, but it's definitely something where once you sort of get it started, it'll kind of rip off pretty easily. So you just kind of gotta use your fingers and just kind of pull up. And as I said, you certainly don't have to do this, um, but it, it does kind of have a weird texture um, when you do eat your ribs. And so especially if you're serving this to people or to guests, um, they might wonder what exactly is on the back of the ribs. Um, so you can just, as you can see, it just kind of comes off in a piece and you can kind of work your way around and make sure you have all the major chunks off of it but definitely be careful using a knife um, you don't want to accidentally cut yourself or cut into the rib so once these are all off I've already done the other two and I'll kind of show you what we're going to do you want to sort of eyeball and definitely don't trim off any of this fat um, you kind of want to eyeball about a third of the rub uh, or however many racks you're doing. If you have uh, four racks that are a little bit smaller in size, you kind of want to um, eyeball it into quarters. Uh, but you want to push this rub into the meat. You could do a little bit of the underneath side too, um, but not nearly as much. And definitely get on the sides. And then what you're going to do is just wrap this up in the foil. And you wanna wrap it pretty tightly because you wanna have all of those juices in there. You don't want any of those coming out. And then you can put this one, finished one right into the bottom of your slow cooker and then you can start on your next one. All right, so now that we have our three sets of ribs already ready in the slow cooker, we can start this on low. Now you're gonna cook it on low for about nine or 10 hours. At that point, we're going to uh, take the ribs out of the foil and put them onto a lined baking sheet under the broiler on low for about five to seven minutes to kind of crisp them up and then they'll be ready to serve.
All right, so these things were in the slow cooker for about nine or 10 hours on low. Um, as you saw, I kind of took them all out of their foil packets and put them just onto a lined pan and popped this into the broiler for about seven to 10 minutes on low. And as you can see, it kind of starts crisping up a little bit. You can see probably from when I was pulling these out, just how clean the bone comes off. Um, so these are definitely really, really tender ribs. And what you can kind of do, you can either serve them as the whole rack like this, or if you want, you can just take um, a knife and kind of find where the bone is and just kind of cut right along the bone and then serve them individually like this. So definitely give this recipe a shot. It's kind of a different way of making ribs, um, but it's something you can really play around with the different dry rib seasonings that you want to use. Um, and it's actually a really great way to, to kind of be able to prep uh, the night ahead and be able to kind of just let it go all day while you're at work or if you're busy um, and stuff and you have a really good dinner um, within about five minutes of getting home. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye.